Hello and welcome to this video. In this one we are looking at Nations Dynamic Duo number 4, which is two South Korean players as we build up, as EA ramp up, the um, content in relation to the World Cup that is upcoming in a few weeks' time. So this um, di uh, Nations Dynamic Duo, the players do not play in the same league um, with the previous one, like with Brun Larsen and um, Nate. Uh, they're both Danish and they both play in uh, the Bundesliga. With the South Korean duo, they've picked um, Lee Kang In of Mallorca in La Liga and they picked Lee Dong Jun of um, Hertha Berlin in the Bundesliga as well. So you've got another Bundesliga player and another La Liga player uh, to compete for and they're relatively free, basically. Um, so the two cards, um, Lee Kang In is a centre attacking midfielder, 5 for 8, medium low work rates, um, and four star, four star skills. His physicals are a little lacking. Um, stamina is a little low generally, but the rest of the card, as you can see, is quite good. Particularly useful on free kicks, I would say. 90, <coughs> 90 curve, 95 free kick accuracy, and 91 shot power as well. Unfortunately, no traits though. The second card uh, that you get for scoring the 10 is Lee Don Shun, who is the right midfielder of the pair, as you can see. He's quite technically good, good dribbling, agility, etc., and good physicals as well, and he has pace to back it up with. As a right midfielder, that's one of the most important stats that you have, so he's going to be a relatively useful card, competing with the other right-wing options you've got for your Bundesliga squad. So, there's five different sections as per normal. The first one up is shooting mechanics. You earn a two-player pack for completing this. You have to score the, tr the very tricky task of scoring four goals using players with a minimum 80 shooting in semi-pro squad battles. So, go into squad battles, select semi-pro opposition as a minimum. Obviously, you could do it against um, higher-level opposition to earn yourself more points towards your weekly total, but... This just requires semi-pro at the very minimum. Um, what it doesn't say is it doesn't matter whether you win, lose or draw the match. As long as you score four goals with those minimum 80 shooting players, then it will tick one of the four off here. So this is one that you can do in one match and then not have to worry about it. You'll, you'll probably win the game anyway, so it's fine. Uh, the second one up, Korean Wizard, is assist four goals using a player from South Korea uh, in squad battles on minimum semi-pro difficulty. So again, the same criteria. As long as you assist four goals with a South Korean player, then it doesn't matter if you win, lose or draw the game. But to be honest, if you're scoring four goals in a game on semi-pro difficulty, you really should be winning the game. And you get a small gold players pack for that one. So that's, I think that's six players, six gold, one rare. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Then you have to score 10 goals in squad battles on minimum semi-pro difficulty to earn the um, Lee Dong-hun Dynamic Duos card and the gold pack. Essentially, how I've done the other ones, as I'm sure everybody else has really, is find a weak squad battles opposition squad to play against, score the 10, assist the 4 and score the other ones all in the same game. So you tick the first three off within one game that gets you the second uh, that gets you the first of the two dy dynamic duo cards which allows you to complete the other two as quickly as possible which is basically the aim of these things so the fourth one up dynamic duo um, you need to assist using um, Lee Don Shun the card that you earned here um, in three separate squad battles matches on semi-pro difficulty so you get an Ele Electrum Players Pack for that, a small Electrum Players Pack for that. So that will take you at least three games. And then the bottom one, you have to win eight matches. So obviously if you do these three and you end up winning each of the games, then these three will contribute to these eight. But if you do these three and don't win, you can then do the eight afterwards. But you still have to start Lee Don Jun in the starting lineup for those squad battles matches. Uh, in order to tick each of those eight parts off towards the win. And you get a two two rare gold players pack for that, two rare gold players pack for that. 
So you get the five different packs and one player just for doing that stuff. So the squad I'm probably going to be using for this is, let's just go in. I'm going to be using my um, Bundes. Actually, we could just... I really could just use that and then find a South Korean. Do I have any South Korean nationality players in my squad? Let's go across to K, where Korea finds itself. Does it? Oh, it's under South. Oh, it's under R for Republic. Yes. I'm not the first time I've made that mistake, as you can see. So I'm lucky enough to have a Park Ji Sung, and I'll put this guy in as well. Um, and basically, I'll be trying that, or should I just keep Nate in? I could just keep Nate in. That should be fine with Park. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, be doing for the first one. I get the goals with the South Korean, or the assists with the South Korean, whichever one it was. And then from there... Um, We'll swap out the players we need and put them in, and just keep them at home in the Bundesliga squad. Um, the the second the first player we get will replace Booter on the right hand side, and yeah, it will go from there. So that's the squad I'm going to be using to do mine. Obviously, squad battles you have to complete the full match. Whereas obviously, if you were playing against somebody um, in Manjira Masterpiece, the golden goal rule may apply. Whereas people just quit after conceding a goal. Um, but yeah, squad battles is relatively straightforward and easy to do. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, feel free to subscribe. I do um, want to kind of help videos about all of the milestones and objectives they put out because sometimes they are not the best explained. Sometimes things can be missed, etc. And generally, um, yeah, I cover all of the players and stuff that they put out there. So feel free. Other than that, I hope you have a good evening. I hope you enjoy completing these cards and they can be useful in the squads that you are building and putting together. Other than that, we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. appreciate that. And yeah, leave any comments below. Should you like, dislike the cards, etc, etc. Always welcome. Thank you for watching. Cheers and goodbye.